Have you ever thought why do we use BSP thread in hydraulics or in pneumatics or in any pipe connection like 1 by 4 inch, 1 by 8 inch or 1 inch? And why we denote the sizes in inches? Are these inches are the diameter of the thread? Also why we do use BSPP thread in hydraulics and BSPT thread in pneumatics? Also what about G thread? R thread, RC, RP and RS thread. What do all these thread means? Is it same or what is the difference? So hi there, this is Ayus from Master Mechanical Design and today we will deeply understand BSP thread standard and their application so that you will not have confusion in selecting the right BSP thread in your design. So first of all, what is the BSP thread? So BSP British Standard Piping is a technical standard for a screw thread that have been internationally adopted for interlocking and sealing the piping and fittings. For example, in pneumatics, in hydraulics and any piping work in HBAC industry or in gas industry, anything related to piping in the whole world the BSP standard is used, except in North America. They use NPT thread, National Piping Thread Standard. But in this video, let's focus on only BSP thread. So the first thing is the size of BSP thread. So we define the BSP thread sizes in each stage, like 1 by 8 inch, 1 by 4 inch, 1 inch or 1 by 2 inch and there is a lot more. So what does mean of inchage? Is this diameter of the thread? So no, this is not the diameter of thread. For example, 1 inch BSP thread doesn't mean that the thread diameter is 1 inch or 25.4 mm. It's actually 33.2 mm. So this 1 inch is just a nominal size. Nominal size means we just denote some sizes by some number. It's not the physical dimension. It's just a number. And in BSP thread, the thread diameter always larger than the nominal size. Like in 1 inch BSP thread, thread diameter is 33.2 mm. There is no relation between nominal size and the diameter of the thread. The BSP nominal size in inches is just coming from historical legacy. So let's move to second thing, the pitch of BSP thread. So in BSP thread, we define the thread in TPI. TPI means number of thread per inch. For example, in 1 by 4 inch BSP thread, TPI is 19. Means 19 thread per inch of length of, of the thread. Means pitch equal to 1 by 19, 0.0529 inches. Means 1.337 mm. And now the third and most important thing is the shape of BSP thread. So BSP threads comes in two shapes. One is parallel thread means a straight thread. The diameter of the thread will keep constant throughout the length in both male and female thread. And we denote it as a BSPP, P4 parallel. But in earlier time, engineers used to denote as BSPF and BSPM also. But officially all these three standards has been obsolete and got replaced with G series. But we still widely use BSPP thread as well as G thread like G1 by 4 inch or G1 by 8 inch. Means we can say BSPP means parallel thread and G thread is exactly the same. But when we write G1 by 4 inch it's referred to both male and female thread. So to differentiate, we should always mention is it male or female thread. And now the BSP thread also comes in taper shape in both in male and female thread. Something like this. The thread taper increases by 1 by 16 ratio. Means at every 16 unit measurement along the thread length, thread diameter will increase by 1 unit from the first starting thread. For example, if the first thread diameter is let's say 10 mm, means after 16 mm along the length, you will get 11 mm diameter of the thread. 
and we denote this thread by BSPT or PT which also have been absolute and got replaced by R series but we still use BSPT thread widely as well as R series thread but in R series only R means male taper thread and for the female thread we use RC capital R and small c so in R series you don't have to define it is male thread or female thread R means male taper thread and RC means female taper thread and in R series there are also RP, RS, R1 and R2 threads and now your question should be what do all these R thread means are these all threads are taper but first I would like you to ask that I use why do we need these two shapes of BSP thread parallel and taper because this is more important so we use parallel threads BSPP or G series thread to just interlock the connection and we use taper thread BSPT or R series thread to seal the connection what does it mean it means if we will tighten the parallel male and female thread together the connection will not completely sealed there will be a leakage so to seal the connection we always use gasket or o-ring with bspp or g thread series but when we tighten the male taper thread either with taper female thread or parallel female thread connection will get sealed by thread interlocking because it's taper the end portion of the thread is larger and to improve the sealing all these r series threads comes with sealing tape over the thread something like this and i would say this is also a kind of difference between bspt thread and r series thread in bspt standard thread we cannot sure that the thread will come with sealing tape but when we choose r series thread we always get a sealed thread something like this why i am saying this because r series thread also comes in parallel thread rs thread it's a male parallel thread but parallel male sealed thread it's dimensionally same as g thread but g thread is unsealed thread whereas rs is a parallel sealed thread rp thread it's a female parallel thread but but it's a parallel female sealed thread which is designed to mat with r thread means we can say G thread is the unsealed parallel thread and R series threads is a tapered and parallel both but sealed thread so we can summarize it G means parallel male or female but unsealed thread R means tapered male sealed thread RC means tapered female sealed thread RS means parallel male sealed thread and RP means parallel female sealed thread. Now, if you have worked in hydraulics, you may be wondering that I use, I have rarely seen any taper thread in hydraulic fittings. So as R thread is a sealed thread, so why we do not use R thread? Taper thread, why do we use PSP thread, parallel thread with o-ring or gasket? So here is a thing. The taper thread seals the connection with thread interlocking and the sealed tape over the thread. Because of that, for the low pressure applications like in pneumatics, taper thread are better because we don't need to use extra sealing elements like o-ring or gasket. But in high pressure applications, we cannot trust on the sealing capacity of the taper thread interlocking. So we always prefer to use parallel thread with extra proper sealing elements like o-ring or gasket. <laughs> and just for curiosity, can we use taper thread with o-ring to further improve the sealing? So no. In taper threads, connection face matching can be difficult. So always avoid o-rings with taper thread. So in summary, for low pressure applications like pneumatics or gases, use taper thread R and RC thread. And for high pressure applications like hydraulics, always use G thread with O-rings.
and this is it for this video this video was little different than my normal usual video because i don't want to go easy and follow the same pattern at least not on youtube so please let me know your thought on this video and if the video was useful to you please do like just to help the video to spread to more people and thank you so much for watching and your support Hear me out.